everything's copacetic it's been a few days since I've uh, since I've been online and um, mainly because as uh, many of you know I have been uh, working with another friend of mine helping him get a company started and and uh, we're we're having success and it's uh, keeping me busy so um, I wanted to just uh, reach out and say hello to Art who is a uh, friend of mine out on the West Coast who I think may be watching right now and uh, if you are watching if it is coming through okay if you could uh, just kind of uh, uh, give me a heads up on the audio issue that we were talking about a few minutes ago and um, I'm staring directly at our text right now so if you see what's going on there's usually about a 20 second delay so from the time that I ask that and start talking it's uh, 20 to 30 seconds behind that that I'll see uh, any response or anything like that but it's been interesting to see what's been going on with uh, with Uber, there's a number of different people that do YouTube videos uh, on Uber. I'm not sure. Um, the last guy that I talked to was doing a, or that I was watching, was doing a video on um, just the different things that go on with Uber. And it turns out that there is a an Uber driver that was doing a live stream that was not asking for permission from people. He was just uh, live stream videoing them and uh, putting it into the stratosphere forever uh, without anybody's permission which is uh, it's just stupid um, I've had many conversations and you know I, I think that he thought that he was the first guy to do it and he wasn't I was um, I'd been talking about doing this about three and a half years ago but when I started putting this together and started doing some live streaming um, was uh, actually back in January and um, I think he started in March but he he became an uber driver just for the sole purpose of doing that so he didn't really have an understanding of what it is to be an uber driver and what it is to uh, you know be out there with the people he was just going for content it looked like uh, I, I did a little bit of look up on him and I don't remember the name of his site now, but you can you can find it if you just you know type in some keywords into Google. Um, but he became a, a driver specifically for being able to do content, and it looks like he was already a Twitch streamer. He was doing some gamings. I think he was doing Fortnite and uh, some other stuff. But um, he just figured that he probably heard that I was doing it, and or, or found me on. Twitch and what I was about to do and what I was doing and decided that he was going to do it. Um, maybe not. I don't know. I'm not the most original guy in the world, but, you know, that's the way it goes sometimes. Um, so I am hoping and assuming uh, that this is broadcasting. So let me just notify. And... Uh, see if some people that I know are watching because we're going to have a conversation for you uh, with them for you but it's it's really a little bit disconcerting to, to see all the different things that are going on that are out there there's a lot of guys that just record their rides uh, with a dash cam and and then they post it and I don't think that Uber has had had issues with that because when the when the video of uh, the ex CEO of Uber Travis Kal Kalonic <laughs> sorry um, whatever his last name pronunciation was um, I don't think that he gave permission for that Uber driver to post that on YouTube if he did uh, you know good for him but it didn't make him look very good um, in showing what an idiot he was but. Um, Uber doesn't seem to be trying to do anything to improve their uh, their tactics as they as they move forward as a company. They want people to think they are, but really they're not. The uh, there's a lot of different issues going on with that. So in in looking at all the different guys that are out there that are doing dash cam videos and they're doing videos of it. Um, I'm not sure that any of them are, are getting permission, and if they are, it's not on camera. Um, every ride that I take, uh, 
before the person gets in or as they're getting in, I'm asking for permission and making sure it's okay with them. But the whole purpose of what I'm doing isn't to embarrass people. It's not to, um, it's not people, it's not for me to show people uh, at their worst in order for me to make money. Now, some people um, are going to behave the way they're going to behave, but at least I give them the, you know, the ability to say yes or no, whether it's going to go out. And, and who knows if anybody's ever going to watch this. You know, that guy had 4,000 or 400 or I, I don't know. He had, so, he had 100 people that were subscribing to him on Twitch. So if you're watching on Twitch, you're watching live, subscribe pay the monthly fee it helps me to pay for gas and equipment and all the different things and uh, uh, it's a small price to pay for the wonderful amazing point of view that I give you um, <laughs> yeah I tell my friends I say if you think your life is boring and you want to find out what boring really is just turn on my live stream you'll get to see I say that tongue-in-cheek because once I get people in the vehicle um, and they agree to be on the show it's it's awesome. It's just people, people in their lives, what they're doing, what they're thinking. Sometimes people are a little bit nervous about uh, about being on camera, but I have found I think the total number of people that have declined is somewhere around eight. And as you can see on, if you ever go to my YouTube channel, you'll see that I've got, I think I've got close to 200 videos now, um, things that I've done, and that's not even all of them. Those are just um, those are just uh, partial videos of the live streams that I've done. If you really want to see everything that I do, you have to go on to Twitch. And um, part of the reason for that is that when you, you go on to Twitch, you can see the entire full-length videos. You can see, you know, if you look hard, you can see me picking my nose. And then, no, I'm just kidding. I never pick my nose. Um, the... <laughs> The thing about Twitch is that it carries all the content, but then I take the content from there and I mix it up and and just transfer it over to YouTube. So everything that I do on on uh, on Twitch is not on YouTube, but everything that I've done on YouTube is on Twitch. The only bad side of Twitch is that Twitch doesn't have go and go by the same rules as YouTube. YouTube will let you have as much content as you want, bring it, but they own it. With Twitch, they'll let you have as much content as you want. The more, the better. But they only save it for 60 days if you're doing, you know, uh, if you're a verified account and you're and you're doing everything the right way. So, but with YouTube, I can take all of the clips, take the best parts, take full-length clips sometimes, and just put it over onto YouTube so that you can watch it whenever you want. And then um, sometimes I'll take the uh, the highlights that I have on Twitch. And I'll run those in a rerun, so you can go back and watch everything that I've done in the last month or two, and you know, see all the different people that are on there. Um, I uh, one of the things that I enjoy is I, I I really enjoy when I go through a tape, and I I see things that that make me laugh, and sometimes, <coughs> excuse me, you'll see in the title of. Um, something that happened during the ride and you have to pay attention or you won't see it so it's uh, a lot of times it's just um, some really hilarious things I I go through and I watch the different things that I say and do and some of the things I'm scared to death about and some of the things I'm I'm um, I just in I just enjoy I enjoy I enjoy talking to people I enjoy uh, making jokes about stuff and you know, if you can't laugh about yourself, then you spend most of your time crying about yourself. But so, one of the other interesting things that's um, that's coming up is I'm trying to decide if I should have some kind of a contest about shaving my mustache or or um, this is called a Van Dyke. This whole thing together. This is a mustache. This is a goatee. This. is a Van Dyke, just so you know. So I'm thinking about shaving it off. Um, the reason that I grew it, because it goes good with the cowboy hat. And uh, when I uh, started doing this, and you know, you want to brand yourself, and and um, 
have a name that people will remember. And what I've found is that I can tell people the name and they forget it five seconds later. Um, most people want to say Uber John's radio. And those are the people that are normally over 30 that forgot that the internet uh, is now where everybody goes. Radio is still there, but but uh, we're in a car, there's cameras, there's a computer. That would be uh, not radio. So Uber John's internet, I, maybe I should have named it something different, but shave, don't shave. All right, so Art is now watching. Hello, Art. Um, it's good to see you. Well, it's hard to read all your things. Um, you can also uh, chat in the chat room, but I I'm not able to monitor that because as I'm you know as I'm waiting for a ride from Uber, I um, I don't uh, I don't use the chat room. I don't do anything that's going to take my um, take my attention off of the road. Although uh, if you if you haven't seen the video on a new way of driving, it's it's called peripheral driving. I invented it, and uh, you can uh, you can certainly go and watch me explain what peripheral driving is. And how you can test for it but so yeah so shave versus not shave art wants me to have the uh have the poll um i was thinking about having a contest where i let somebody shave me but i don't have enough viewers right now to to be able to pull something like that off and um so i uh i think uh maybe the deal is should i shave on camera maybe i can uh take a live stream camera in with me and uh, or maybe just do it right here um, be messy but you know I have the uh, I have the monthly pass for the car wash so I go through every day or two whether I need it or not kind of like taking a bath and um, but here I am sitting at the Royal Farms in Severna Park watching as people fill their gas tanks and their bellies Royal Farms, by the way, if you've never been to Royal Farms uh, here on the East Coast, Royal Farms is a company that is uh, owned by a guy named uh, uh, John Kemp, and he is not not the uh, presidential candidate that I that I know of. He's a guy that uh, was a couple years ahead of me at the school I went to, and um, his family owns the uh, the franchise of Royal Farms, and there's a bajillion of them around this area, but they have the best fried chicken period it's uh it's very very good and uh it's been around for a while and you know you don't think about going to a gas station to get fried chicken but it beats every every uh fried chicken place we've ever we've ever been to so we love it um so maybe put in the chat room that uh we're gonna have a a vote shave or don't shave i'm just afraid everybody's going to say don't shave and then i'm i'm stuck with it now i can't change i'm you know i'm gonna have to go the the zz top route you know they had a contest when they first started in their garage with the high school band and you know should we shave or not shave and not shave one and now look at them you know they're uh they're famous and they're you know really hairy <laughs> I don't know how I would look with a ZZ Top mustache. I wish I had somebody that was monitoring the, the chat that could throw together my picture with a ZZ Top beard and mustache. That would be hilarious. But, well, it seemed to me that the last, over the last, I'm going to say, you know, the times that I'm that I'm pulling up that I'm, that I'm able to live stream and work and do Uber, um, some of the issues that are, that are going on are that I haven't seen that many rides. Now, I haven't been doing both, so why don't I do this since uh, Uber isn't doing much. Let's go ahead and turn on uh, Lyft as well. So now I have them both going. The only problem with that is I only have a single phone now. So I normally have two phones, the uh, iPhone Pluses. This particular iPhone, wow, something shaking in there I think there is I don't think she put the uh, screws back in properly so the issue that I had was that the wire that I charge that with charge this with is it burned up so I went to I saw that the the phone was coming down it was plugged in I went to check it and the the wire was it was like lava 
and so I went and tried some other chargers and nothing was charging so I took and had the battery replaced and they told me that that wasn't the uh, the problem but it was 29 to replace the battery and 20 just to to uh, for the diagnostic so then they said that it might be the port but they didn't do the port at the Apple at the Apple authorized place so I had to take it to another place and so they opened it up and they said no it's not the port it's got to be the motherboard what it really is is the there is I guess a fuse that is uh, where the electricity comes in that keeps it from being overloaded without so it doesn't damage the the motherboard but to be perfectly honest with you if you're going to do a design flaw uh, where you've got a fuse that keeps you from destroying the motherboard What's the difference if you won't fix the motherboard? Nobody wants to touch the motherboard I either have to find one that you know on eBay or something like that in order to to replace it And then find somebody to put it in or I have to put it in myself So now I have an issue with a little fuse that uh, burned out so that I can't charge the phone and the phone works perfectly fine so as I, when I bought the new the new battery I had them charge the battery outside of the phone put it in the phone comes up works fine make calls do whatever I want to do just won't charge so once that battery runs out I'd have to open it back up charge the battery on another phone or however take it to a place to get it charged that would be ridiculous but the worst part is is that they make it so that you can't just easily replace the motherboard because why would you want to make something convenient so they they put a fuse in there that keeps from burning out the motherboard but there's no difference if it burned out the motherboard or if it burns out the fuse I still have to replace the phone because that's the way they want you to do it so why not make the fuse so that it um, allows you to have the phone catch on fire at least that way I know that I've used every bit of the phone in order to uh, Oh, I forgot. Um, Samsung already did that. That's their their protocol, I guess. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but it's just very frustrating when you have. And now I realize that they didn't put the um, the screws back in properly when they because the guy that normally does it wasn't there, so the girl put the thing back on, and uh, you know, I don't know, I don't know. No, no. You know, I'm convinced now that there are no more experts, that there's only people that know a little bit about a little bit. And you have to get a whole bunch of people together in order to make a lot of it. But, so, let's see what Uber is doing. So, here's the other thing that I've noticed, is that when you're using the Uber app and the Lyft app, on the same phone there is a uh, an app out there called maestro but it only works on on uh, non apple phones that combines both of the you can turn both of the apps on it will wait for the first ride it will turn the other one off when you when you press that app if somebody would make it for the apple phone i would have that but i've been looking for it for a while some of the other drivers use it so i have to uh just open both apps on my phone and then i have to keep the lyft app in the front because if i keep the uber app in the front the lyft app will say oh he's not there he's not paying attention we're gonna shut it off and they they turn off uh, uh, they turn off the app so that I can't receive any rides and they and I don't know so so now that I've got both of the the ride things going and I'm live streaming now the friend that I tried to call an hour ago decides that it's time to uh, talk but I can't do that because I'm live streaming and I may get a ride so okay I've said everything that I know how to say I'm bored this is a lot this is a lot of what uh, driving for Uber is unless you're driving in the city and then what's happening is is that you're making eight dollars an hour to destroy your car and um, <laughs> that's about what it works out to. Uber has uh, effectively lowered the rates enough to where their real business model is 
how can we hire people to drive for us for a period of six months and then make sure that they don't ever want to drive for us again that seems to be the business model and um, the reason that they're doing it is because they went to the business school that says you don't really have to study or learn anything you just have to know that because you graduated from this school that you're the smartest person on the planet and everything that you think is brilliant and um, if you have a good idea but you have no way to implement it that's okay we're gonna pay you a lot of money and then you could fail later I know that's very sarcastic that's my that's my sense of humor um, it's just ridiculous to see a company that has the ability to just make a small fortune take and and do things in order to make it so that the people that work for them are the most vulnerable the most harmed so I know that a lot of times it reverts back to this but every time I I see one of uber's advertisements about what they're doing and how they're making it better for the drivers and the passengers and whatnot it's 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 really really hard to listen to that it's hard to listen to it because you know if I tell my wife I'm gonna stop at the store and bring home dinner and then I don't and then I blame her for not reminding me that's just stupid so you know when uber tells us that you're supposed to be happy with something that pays you less money or makes you work longer in order to make the same money and they tell you to smile and you know uh and be happy that uber is the is uber i just know that if if some other company i know there's a lot of other little companies that are starting up but um they're very it's very difficult i guess to to break into this market when you're you know going against somebody that's you know pretty much given free rides they um they're about a third of what the taxi cabs are in a lot of areas and and um around here i think taxi cabs are still at 235 a mile uh is what they charge plus there's a, a time element in there i'm not sure how uber is figuring out what they what they charge but it has nothing to do with what they pay so the drivers make 92 cents a mile have all the expenses have all of the hassle have all of the uh, time uh, going into it and they uh, uber is is currently averaging on the, the rides that I've looked up about 40 percent to 60 percent of what they charge so they if they if I get twelve dollars they might charge twenty one dollars uh, it used to be that they would take 20% across the board. Whatever the charge was, they take 20%. Driver keeps the rest. And it worked out to be, you know, on Uber X was, I think they charged $1.59. It means you made about $1.30 a mile, which isn't, it isn't horrible, but it isn't that great. And then with XL, which is what I am, XL is, uh, uh, used to be $2.59 a mile is what they charge. So I would end up getting about $2.10 a mile which is a reasonable amount. It's not an exorbitant amount of money uh, for what it is that we provide in driving places with the wear and tear and gas and, and um, all the different things that go on. It's, you know, you're not getting rich doing it, but certainly you can make a living at it if you get out and hustle. So it's just, it, I, I hope that, that Uber will start to listen to people that have a good understanding of what's going on out here and uh and do something about it because if 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 they keep doing what they're doing and losing money um there's no way that they can that they can stay in business it's crazy i guess the last thing that i read was a few months ago i don't know if it was if, if this is current but that they were expected to lose 200 million dollars in the in the next quarter and that they've never had a profitable a profitable um, a profitable time in history where they've made money um, I don't know how you do that I don't know how you blow so much money and not get anything back for it 
it just it's it's mind-boggling they have an army of people that work for them that don't cost them a dime not a dime and those people it's like I feel like a consigliere for the mafia you know go out and get the money and then turn it into us and uh, you can keep a little bit of it but but uh, you're under our you're under our rule <laughs> so you know uh, I feel like Polly Walnuts and, uh, Tony Soprano is saying yeah you don't need any more than 92 cents a mile that's uh, you out of control asking for that you know we need the money here for all the well, I'm not going to go there I'm heading down a bad path I shouldn't be going down the path so uh, so yeah I'm going to do a I'm going to do a quick shout out to my son's live stream when he's on is called Uber Zebes at Z E B E S and Uber Zebes has nothing to do with Uber but uh, he is a, a video game player and and uh, is really good but you won't know that so this is uh, a lot of what the reason that I call this Uber John's Rodeo is because the amount of time that you're driving and actually making money in many cases out in the in the rural areas like uh, where I am in Sperna Park Maryland um, what happens is is that you get a ride and then you wait and this is what it was like actually in the beginning when it first came here sometimes you'd wait 20 or 30 minutes to get a ride and then it got really really busy and now it's just gotten to the point where it's uh, you're not really sure how long you're gonna wait some days I come out here and wait a minute some days I come out and wait an hour to get the first ride once the first ride happens usually there's seems to be a flow of rides after that but we are at 12 what looks like 1225 I think um, I think we will uh, probably get a ride here soon there's probably some summer classes at the college down the road people will be getting out going to lunch but back to what I was talking about I didn't lose my place the reason I call it Uber John's rodeo is that when you watch a rodeo you're watching the guys ride the bull you're watching all the different things that happen there's excitement going on and then there's they stop eight seconds the guy's got to ride the bull then he gets off and then everybody waits for a little while until the next guy gets up there that's what I do I um, I have excitement excitement followed by a waiting period so you know I try and talk and talk about things that are interesting but you know when you're driving for uber all you think about while you're doing it is how much money you're wasting <laughs> I'm just kidding you, you're you're thinking about wanting the next ride where you're gonna go where you're gonna end up who you're gonna meet all the different things that go along with that are pretty fun I mean I like driving for Uber because I like meeting people. I like talking to people about what, you know, what things they love about life, what things they struggle with, the things that they, um, that concern them. I try not to get too busy into political things because everybody's got their own opinion. It's, it's, um, and everybody thinks they're right. It's crazy. You can have people completely, completely opposite opinions and both of them would go to their grave believing that they're that they're right the truth of the matter is is that I'm the only one that's right about everything and if I find out that I may not be right I quickly change my opinion and become right again so that's that's the thing that you have to remember is that um, but today it it's so crazy now people are given facts and they're like oh, no 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 that doesn't matter facts Facts. What matters is what I think. You can keep saying that you have facts, but are they really facts? Is there really a God? <laughs> I don't know. What would have to happen for people to believe that there's a God? I don't know. I don't know. It's different for everybody. 
everybody's got their own ideas and the problem now is that we're having trouble educating people and we're changing all the things that they learn if you've got kids have you looked at some of the books that they're using I look at a math book and I see words and I'm thinking is math numbers I thought math was numbers but now it's if uh, if Johnny has five apples and Mary takes one should John snatch it out of her hand or should he ask for it back in order to have five apples I don't know that's a bit extreme but it's you know you get the point you know you you read how they're how they're teaching and maybe maybe there's something to teaching different math but the new uh, Incredibles movie the second one he <laughs> Mr. Incredible is trying to teach his son math. He goes, this is about, why did they change math? Math is math! That's a funny movie. If you haven't seen it, go see it. So, here's what I've got going on on this iPhone 8 Plus. It's interesting because I have a lot of apps on this phone. It holds a lot. I get the the maximum amount of of um, storage space on it. I guess this is the equivalent of being a phone hoarder. And uh, what I've got going on right now is I've got Uber, the app with GPS. Lyft, the app with GPS, and I've got a hotspot that is running this signal through my computer onto the internet to Twitch so that you can watch it in your home or on your phone or in your car. If you're watching in your car, stop that. Um, but I actually, um, I'm actually enjoying starting to watch some of the other guys that are Uber drivers that um, they're upset about some of the stuff that's going on too and why does it always want me to update when I'm in the middle of doing something I don't get it so I, I really am enjoying you know watching watching YouTube I even watch some of my own videos you know you got to get subscribers somehow right um, <laughs> that's a joke I do watch my own videos though, but not on YouTube. Normally, it's when I'm doing the highlights and seeing what's going on. But there is some some funny stuff that I uh, that I think about life. But generally, I I think that <clears throat> my opinion is is that most people are good, and that they they learn to be bad, or if they become bad. But most people are good, and they're looking to uh, be of service. I was driving up the road the other day, and I wish that I had my live stream on because all of a sudden cars started slowing down it was on a highway it has uh, it was three lanes wide and um, it was 97 north just above Benfield Boulevard and there was a uh, I saw some cars pulling off both ways so I thought oh there might be an accident and then I see a guy get out of his truck on the left side and go running across the highway in front of the uh, the other cars that were all mainly stopped and as I started to get up there, as we're pulling forward, what had happened was somebody in a brand new Mustang, silver Mustang with black stripes, had somehow lost control of their car, and they had gone down the embankment and up into the, the trees, into the bushes there, and there was a group of people in the pouring rain, God, it was raining so hard, um, that ran up and started knocking on the window. I don't know if the person was out or, or what, but... Um, you know, given our, our instincts, you know, a lot of times if there's big fear, you know, you know, volcano blows up, everybody turns tail, and all you see is AHs and, and elbows. And, um, but when something like this happens and people see other people hurt, it was like on 9-11 when all those firemen went running into the building to their, to their own demise. They, um, they died... And people, people go go into situations that are dangerous 
because they value other people. And, um, you know, I guess I've gotten to the point in, in life where I really, um, I enjoy seeing the good things. And I, I, I balk at the premise that people want to see blood and guts and gore and all these other things sell. Well, maybe that's true. But I think that good things sell, too, that when people do good. But we've now been brought to the point in society where where people are generally pessimistic about, well, that guy did something good, but when's the other shoe going to drop? Because we watch movies where people are good. If you have a, this is a perfect example. The show Billions. Billions is a show. It's an awesome show. I love to watch it. But it starts off, you've got this billionaire, Bobby Axelrod, and you've got this state's attorney, which is played by Paul Giamatti. And both of the guys are, are awesome actors. You start to like both of them, but they're at odds. And as it progresses, as the show progresses, they start to peel the onion, and, and, and both of them are, are, you know, both of them are really shady. And, uh, but, you, you know, you want to pick sides. You, you, you want the show to continue. You love, you know, seeing all the, the great acting that's on there. But I think that everybody generally has a pessimistic attitude about good things that happen. And, and I think that if we showed more good things happening and where people were helping, you occasionally hear about it on the news. Oh, this person saved the person in a burning building and whatnot. But what we don't report on is the little acts of kindness. We don't talk about the little acts of kindness as being something that's important. And so we, we put people that are old or people that are um, uh, disabled or, or, or some other issue, and we have, we have problems because we don't really, everybody's afraid to do anything for fear of getting sued or being talked about or, or anything. Where we should be encouraging good behavior, we don't. So... Uh, it's really funny. I am, I don't know. That's why I don't get into politics. Because it doesn't matter which side you're on. No matter who the president is, they do something. If you don't like that guy, you say how you don't like what he did. If you do like him, you say you love what he did. And then the next guy gets in, does the exact opposite. And now you're, st you're saying the, the same thing. It's crazy. I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't know. I guess if it was a, a beauty contest and my wife was in it, she would win every time if I was the judge. You betcha. But what do you do when, you're, when your daughter's in it? Whose feelings do you want to hurt the most? That's the question you have to ask. <laughs> oh man, I have a sick mind sometimes. All right. So one of the other issues that um that I don't know is that there's there's also an issue of um, the radio while you're while you're streaming and I'm unsure as to whether you know what the laws are regarding broadcasting and stuff I've had a couple of times where I've done a live stream I've gone back into the live stream and seen that it is uh, part of it is muted out because there was content in there that was basically I'd turn the radio on but if you're listening to the radio and you're broadcasting that, isn't, isn't that better for the radio station, for the music lover because it's going out to more people so that when they have advertisements it goes out to more people? People cut off their noses despite their face. But they have really big noses. If they were smaller, maybe they wouldn't do it. It's 
just so fun to mess with people by talking like that. I love it. Oh, I love it! Spam, 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 oh, wonderful spam. I don't want any spam. That's all right. I'll take your spam. I love it. See if they mess with that content. Got to go back into the 70s to Monty Python. Maybe that's what's happened. That's what happened to me. Watching too much Monty Python and Benny Hill. If you don't know who that is, YouTube it. Monty Python and Benny Hill. Those were some of the funniest shows ever. Most women don't like those shows, though. And the reason is, is that... Women generally don't like slapstick type of comedy where Pratt falls and, and falling. And not that they were exactly not... Uh, degrading but they were certainly they were certainly funny they made fun of men just as much as women but um, Benny Hill was especially Benny Hill was the South Park of the 70s that's what Benny Hill was yeah but not a lot classier South Park kind of just says anything and breaches subjects that no one wants breached. But it was fun to watch which religion was was uh, the actual religion. It's when they all went down to hell and the devil came out and made the announcement. So here's the announcement. The actual religion and the winner... The real religion is Mormon. Mormon is the winner. That's hilarious. Could have something to do with it's made out in Colorado, which is very close to Utah. Is it Utah? No. Yeah, Salt Lake City. Big Mormon place. Mormons are awesome people. Are you bored yet? I'm not, because I got you. But you're probably bored because you got me. <laughs> Do I have any coffee left? I do not. Coffee. Maybe I should pull something up on YouTube. I wonder if the content, if you're streaming yourself streaming, yourself streaming. Hmm. Hmm. Well, this is an interesting mouse in that this particular mouse, I had it set up so that it wouldn't go too fast, and something happened, and it changed, and I can't figure out how to change it back. I know eventually I'll get it, but... So, I'm uh, looking at my... at my Twitch... hear me talking 20 seconds afterwards. Oh yeah. Oh man. When I move and I watch it on the TV, this is like a kaleidoscope. Ooh, you are getting sleep. You are getting sleepy. So I've talked about a lot of things today. I didn't. I don't usually talk this much, but I usually have a ride and I can ask other people questions. I'll do it trivia show. Alright. Can you hear me? Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? This will be funny in a minute. Can you hear me now? I wonder if I'm the only guy watching now. 
Bert, are you still watching? Send off an email to all your co-workers and tell them to take a coffee break and turn on Uber John's Rodeo and I'll do some karaoke. Watching me pretty soon. If I'm watching me, then I'll be watching me, watching me, watching me. It's an infinity loop. That's how they make infinity stones. That's what she said. <laughs> I have to turn this off. There he goes. <laughs> hey, I am really becoming amused. This is fun. I <laughs> you, you go to your boss. Your boss comes over and says, "Hey, what are you watching?" Yeah, I'm watching this guy talk to him on a live stream. I am really becoming amused. Oh my God! Wow. So, I think this girl knows this guy. Either that or she's asking for money for gas. No? Maybe she's with the guy. Did she get out of that vehicle? I don't know. I think she may be with him because everybody else's car has got somebody in it. This is an interesting vehicle that backed in here next to me a few minutes ago. You probably saw it. It is what looks to be a Ravens GMC Suburban, or is it a? I think it's a Suburban. It looks like at one point it was like tricked out a little bit. And then it just got old. But it's purple. Ravens purple. So I must be a big Ravens fan. Alright. I'm getting bored just uh, sitting here. And probably so are you. Alright, so let's go do a little drag racing. We'll go pick a race fight. And uh, as they pass us, we'll bump their rear and watch them flip down the road in front of us. And that'll be exciting. That will be a video. You know I'm kidding, right? But that actually happened. I did not do it on purpose. So I'm not like that. There we go. That's a little bit zoomed in a little bit too much, I think. That's not... You know what? I think I, I exchanged this for something. Let's move this up a little. Is that any better for anybody? Probably not. Maybe I'll go down a little bit. Alright, probably be a good idea if I drive. Let's just pull over right here. Alrighty. Now, so what does it look like when do this. See, now you get the full effect. Or, now you get the full effect. <laughs> um, oh, shoot. Man, I almost I almost just lost it and had to go down. As I, uh, when you move this screen around, it's, it's insane. Oops, I went off the grid there. I gotta bring it back. Alright, so, I need your vote. Is that, would you rather have it like that? Like that? Or like that? Jesus, that's even more me than I can take. So if I'm right here, you can see me just talking. That's about where I want it to be. 
Now if I get any bigger, that's what she said. Sometimes you can't stop saying that. All right, here we go. We are now off to see the wizard. Yeah, it would be nice to actually make some money today. So, since I haven't had any rides, just go ahead and um, subscribe to my Twitch channel. And um, if you are a member of, of uh, Amazon Prime, you can subscribe to my channel for free. So that is actually a really cool thing. So if you're an uh, uh, Amazon Prime member, come on to Twitch and subscribe for free. That way you'll be notified. You'll be able to check out all the cool emojis. You'll be able to uh, know whenever I'm online. And I will benefit from it monetarily. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. Well, we are cruising along on a Monday. I think we've been out here for a while. How long have I been out here? Is there any way to check and see? Hmm. Maybe not. I'd really like to know what the guy was thinking. You know, when you think about when you think about uh, live streaming, you think about guys that um, this guy was live streaming without telling people. There, I just don't understand how you can have a conscience and be in a car and know that the person has the potential to do things that they cannot change and not tell them. It just doesn't seem fair. It doesn't seem right. But, you know, you really don't have the expectation to not be on camera. I know that, shoot, that PNC across the street, that bank, that, that ATM there, that ATM could probably tell if I was at this light so they could know whether I was here if I went and robbed a house or something. So, you know, there's lots of cameras that are out there in public. I don't know how this, this would work out. I don't think that they should have banned the guy, but I think that he, that he was stupid not to let people know he was doing a live stream. I guess that the, they, probably the people that he was picking up would say no, because they could immediately see that he wasn't as cool as me. So I got that going for me. Which is nice. What are you doing? Are you trying to hit me? This guy's really close. Oh, he's fooling with his phone like this. Over here. Cam's off the wheel. I need to have another camera. A camera that I can just pick up and just show people. That's what I'll do. I need another port. Port in a storm! Port in a storm! Dude, get off your phone! Jesus! This guy's going up. That's the guy right up there in the, in the other, in the older pilot. Watch, he's all over the lane. He's on the left side of the lane. And he's, oh, he's over the white line. Might go into the median. Don't think he's drinking. But you know, if you're stupid, you can get educated. You can't fix insane. Maybe I should say it differently. Maybe you can fix uneducated, but you can't fix stupid. So slow. Alright, let me get up 
to the speed limit. Now let's see if any of my apps are still open. That one's open. I hope to get to the point where I don't feel obligated to say anything while I'm streaming. I hope I get to that point. I can't help it. I'm on stage. I'm a star, Grandma! I'm so we got good signal the whole time. I know I am burning through data, baby. Burn it through it. I bet I can use 10 gigs a day. Easy. Maybe more. On an unlimited plan. I got seven phones on my plan. So I can switch back and forth. They'll start throttling till about 22 gigabytes. So, shave or don't shave. 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 I vote shave. I vote don't shave. Who do you vote for? I am never going to be Sam Elliott. I don't know why I keep trying. Is that his name? All right. Let's see if we got the Hard to watch. I am, uh, I guess if I talk over the music, it's not the same as actually listening to it. I am pretty sure that nobody is ever going to watch my show in order to listen to music. Not a hundred percent sure about it. Sure. Be nice to get a ride. Make some money. So right now we're heading into Annapolis. Route 2 South. Lots of trees and bushes on the right. Surprised there's not a lot more uh, branches that have gone over here. A lot of times we get big wind storms like we've had. The wind is uh, usually gets one of these one of these guys here. What happened to the music? There it is. Got a little click in my neck. I've been sitting in this car too long. How about a ride? How about a ride? I turn on the thing. Maybe I've been getting on it. I don't even know it. Let's get over. I like getting behind trucks. Make things go nice and slow. Or more of a chance for something to fly off the truck and cause an accident. But we'll get it on video. I guess I shouldn't comment like that until you get to know me a little bit better. Because... I know how insane that is, but what are you going to do? So, the, um, this mouse loves to mess with me. I need to keep it somewhere where it doesn't hit anything. How do you do that? The 
the mice have things all over them now. You can't even uh, you can't even touch it without your computer blowing up. <coughs> that is the wrong key. We are now erasing all of your spreadsheet files. Oh, thank you. So when I want to erase stuff, I can't find a button to do it. But there apparently is a button that if you touch it, everything goes away. Who needs bleach bit when you can have a cat playing with the mouse? Alright, so here we are, coming over into the uh, main area of Annapolis. Naval Academy is off to my left. This is the Bay Bridge. So this is what I was talking about. You can go back and watch one of my older videos on peripheral driving, where I explain how I don't ever really look out the front. I basically glance there just to kind of see what's happening, but I'm always focused on it for peripheral vision. That's how you avoid accidents. Cop car. Sneaky cop car. That works. to exit and go into downtown Annapolis. So at the very least, you'll get a a nice little um, tour of Annapolis. We're getting off onto Rao Boulevard. And it is pronounced Rao, R-O-W-E. Looks like Rao, but it's Rao. And as we circle around to go under the bridge, you'll have to kind of look. But off to the right is going to be the Naval Academy football stadium. Also, a ice hockey rink when the Capitals come to town. They had one game there this year where they built the stadium outside. That was the coolest thing ever. I'll need a little Kyrie Lay. Kyrie Lay. Kyrie Lay. I'm not interested in that. Where we're at. Where we're at. Here we go, We've got a little country going. Oh, look at that license plate, 7BR0000. That must be a witch's car, 7 Brew. Or Scooby Doo's car. You don't get in the wrong lane. You don't have to worry about merging over when there's no place to merge to. That's important to know where you're going. What you're doing. How you're doing that. That's a state police car right there. On my right. You cannot see it. But it is right there. Can you see it now? Correct the Mundo. See that guy's got his computer and cameras, and I got mine. We're both looking at I'm looking at mine, he's looking at his. Oh that's funny. There we are. You see that? That guy right here. This left turn here. How about that? I gotta go turn off the Uber. And I gotta go back to the left. Yay. Well, we may have our first ride of the day. It is a lift ride. It is up here on the corner in the rain. So, 